About six months ago, I flew with Swoop for the first time, and back then I flew from Edmonton to Las Vegas. In the meantime, I've been talking to a couple people who did not have the best experience that I did have back in January. So today I decided that I wanted to try them again to see if the good experience that I had the first time was a one-off or if it's a common thing and that the other people were just unlucky. I'm a bit early at the airport as the check-in desk behind me is still empty so I hope I can use one of these self-service kiosks instead to get my boarding pass and then through security. Let's go! For my flight with Swoop, I had to get to Terminal 3 from Terminal 1. This is pretty easy with a short train ride between the terminals. I did have to go outside of security because the only way to get my boarding pass was from the check-in desks. Swoop, unlike WestJet, is not present on the self-service kiosks. One reason for this, I suspect, is because Swoop are very strict with their hand luggage policy and even though I only carried a small backpack, they still made me measure it in the rack to be counted as a personal item. If it's too large and it doesn't fit, it's counted as carry-on and you get charged with a carry-on fee of over $50. Airside at Terminal 3 was fairly quiet this Saturday evening. There's a duty-free section with typical perfumes and liquor, but you can also find expensive fashion brands like Michael Kors and Pandora. And of course, if you aren't done gambling in the casinos, you can still spin the slots. For food, there are several fast food options and pubs. Instead of having power outlets in the seating areas of gates, like most airports do have nowadays, McCarran offer these recharge stations. And if you forgot to buy Vegas souvenirs, there are even some souvenir shops here. Back in January, when I flew Swoop for the first time, they had just six Boeing 737-800 aircraft, all transferred from the WestJet fleet. Since then, they've received one more Boeing 737-800 aircraft, increasing the fleet size to seven. This is far too few aircraft for the amount of routes Swoop operate. Just less than two weeks ago, Swoop cancelled 30 flights due to his unscheduled maintenance and not having backup aircraft. Another point of criticism with Swoop is that their call center is only open during business hours on Monday through Saturday. And this means that if anything happens to your flight outside of these business hours or on a Sunday, there's no one you can reach over the phone until the call center opens again. In other words, you can grab a really good bargain with Swoop, but if anything goes wrong, it can go very wrong very quickly without being able to talk to anyone. Lucky for me, I didn't have any delays and I didn't need to reach the customer service. There are 189 seats on this aircraft, of which 21 are classified as extra legroom seats. Swoop have the same seats on their Boeing 737 as WestJet does. And recently I found out Alaska. The tray table features two annotations for cups and can be adjusted. Like at WestJet and Alaska, Swoop seats also feature a universal power socket and a USB port in every seat. For personal storage, there's some netting here, and the legroom is, uh, meh. The headrests are adjustable for extra comfort.
the lavatories on his aircraft were kept pretty neat. Last time I flew on Swoop I was quite surprised with the prices on their onboard menu, and this has not changed. 2 Canadian dollars for soft drinks, 3 bucks for a coffee, cheap snacks and 5 dollars for spirits and under 7 for a beer. For a low cost carrier, these are very affordable prices. Well, too bad something went wrong with my GoPro for this flight and both the takeoff and landing weren't recorded, for which I'm really sorry. The flight was really good though. The legroom is somewhat limited, but the overall experience was great. The check-in desks open on time, the plane left on time and the items on the menu were cheap. So if there aren't any disruptions, Swoop are a great airline to fly with. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next week.